So I've got this rule and the rule is if I'm going to procrastinate, I might as well do something really, really fun. So welcome to my new vlog. All right, let me show you some things I'm working on. So this is sort of the start of my Necromunda table. I still have a long ways to go, but there's two things that make me really excited about the project. The first one is 3D printing. Basically everything white on here has been 3D printed. And the other thing is oil paints. Oil paints are pretty awesome. All I did was spray the silver then spray a gloss coat, and then I just smudged and smeared oil paints all over it. Now, oil paints can take a really long time to dry. Mine took about three days, but that's sort of a good thing because you have a really long working time, which means you can sort of make mistakes and fix them at your leisure. And another thing I'm just a little bit excited about is lights. Isn't that cool? So I've got a cool trick I want to show you. These things are water soluble pencils. And with a bit of experimentation, I found that they're really good for making rust marks. All you gotta do is just rub them on the surface where you want a bit of rust. And it means that you can do really cool streaky effects. And then you can sort of just smudge them around a bit. And if you take a bit of spit, you can really blend it in. My favorite one's the orange one, but I, uh, I lost it. Not only in life am I incredibly untidy, but also on the tabletop. I just throw dice everywhere. I'm like an animal. So I really want to address it. So I finished my prototype and I think it's pretty good. It's a little rough around the edges and there's a couple of major flaws that I need to work out. But I think if I 3D print a version, I can really dial in the tolerances and I can also refine the wall height. So it's the perfect amount of grabability, but also security. So when I'm shaking it around, the dice don't fall out. But first I've got to fix my case. 